The Tampa Bay Rowdies have resumed their training sessions at Al Lang Stadium in downtown St. Pete, becoming the first Tampa Bay area professional sports team to get back on the field in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. The team is taking several measures to ensure their health and safety. Among them, the players' temperatures are checked before they enter the facility before practice. They change in and out of their cleats in designated areas. There's no contact play, and they're working in groups of no more than four. Now, while they've resumed practicing, it's still unclear when their season can continue. The rowdy season was ended just one game in in mid-March because of COVID-19. The USL is slated to make a return-to-play proposal within the next two weeks. There's a lot of things still on the table. Among them is playing a full slate or possibly playing a regionalized format, which would save on travel expenses. There's a big question about whether fans will be in the stands, and that's still not known. Having said that, while the league has a broadcast rights deal with ESPN, it's not nearly as lucrative as its counterparts. So teams like the Rowdies depend greatly on the match day revenue to survive. Things like ticket sales, concessions, parking, and match day advertising. For the players, all they can do is go back to work and wait for the league to decide what's next. For the Tampa Bay Times and TampaBay.com, this is Eduardo Encina reporting.